guys, today we are going to be installing the subwoofer in the Nissan. We got Austin here to help us. Basically, I want to run down the gist of this. First off, this is a Rockville. It's got all the wiring. This comes in a kit. You got all the wiring you need and a bunch of other extra stuff like zip ties, freaking mint. And you get the sub. This has subwoofer on one side and an amp on the other. This is called a tube amp. This is a really nice setup. I like it. And if you don't like it, um, I, I don't know, but I like it. I like it too. But I've already got a place cleaned out for it here. Ladybug's already starting this early. But anyway, ah! <laughs> you said check me again, why don't you? Okay. But anyway, the small wire goes to the blue wire that no one ever uses. Remember that blue wire you was asking me about? The let the antenna. No. The uh, it was called remote on yours. Oh yeah. That's what this. That's what this is for apparently. So we got we got the blue wire positive ground. I know it's a mess right now, but I know what I'm doing. And then this is the AV in and out, which goes to the back of the radio and then into this. We've got some nice wire loom, which I'm actually going to use. I'm going to get some electrical tape out of the toolbox, some wire crimpers, and I guess we're going to get started, Austin. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we had this right here, and I wanted to put it on a good ground. So I was like, oh, I'll just put it on her seat box. That's pretty good ground. This was too small, so after filing it for about eh, 20 or 30 minutes, it slides right on. So guys, I'm working on the install. I run this wire. There's the positive. Run across, zip tie, zip tie, zip tie. And under this, down under this, in behind here, in through the firewall, got a wire loom on it. In under here and was going through here, and you'll never believe what I found. So, the whole time I've owned this truck, I've never had these floors out. I've never had this piece off. So, I got looking, and I was like, oh, that's cool. There's 50 cents. Went to run the wires. I don't know if you can see that. There's just a stash of money under here. So, I want to work on getting that out. You can kind of see just a bunch of coins. Like, I don't know how it got under this because this was down, the clip was on. I don't know how that got there, how long it's been there, but I'm gonna pull it out and show you guys what I find. So guys, this is how much I end up getting. There's what? About $2. Two. About three dollars and change just sitting under my seat. And considering and there's a bullet. Considering that I didn't have anything in this, I'm considering this getting paid to do an install to my own truck. So you can't beat that, free money. But okay, next. Got the power ran, got the ground run. Now we gotta run the A V cables. And the yellow, or the blue, the blue goes to the blue, which goes to this. I'll, I'll show you the wiring process, but I've got to run it. But how I've got it run, it comes off the battery, off the firewall, like y'all seen, goes down through here. Behind this, under here, there's actually a little tunnel for it to go through. Through there, back to here. And then it'll get hooked up. i got to trim off a little bit because there's a little bit too much. Because this was pre-installed in a S10, but you know it's it's good for right now, so I ain't gonna cut that down. Next thing we gotta do is pull the head unit. All right, pull the head unit. All I gotta do is take this out, take this out, turn power off to that. I should unhook the power coming from the head unit, but you know I'm not gonna do that. Two screws. One. Is 
Is this like the easiest face plate to take off by the way, just letting you know that. Okay. Two. Whole thing comes out. You got a wired on point right here. So let's just get that done. And then garbage out of the way. Grab this and set that up there. And now you got access to the bolts. I've only got two, but you should have four. You should have one here, one there, one there, and one there. I got one there and one there. Um I lost the other ones, don't mind that. So, oh, and if you've got a standard, you're gonna to wanna to put this in reverse, get this out of the way. All right, guys, we got the CD player out. Repaired a few things that I wanted to repair while I was in here. This is the wire we're going for. This wire, which is going to hook up to the provided blue wire. So, these two are going together. This is gonna run back under that with the power wire back that is what gives you your signal and you're also going to want to put your av wires in here i don't know what these are called i keep calling them av wires but i really don't care what they're called honestly but you just hook them up get that out of the way okay front rear sides Got left channel and right channel. We are going to go, let's see, red It's gonna be blue, black is gonna be white, because why not? And then those are gonna go back behind the seat and hook into the sub. And while we're in here, we're going to solder, well, heat shrink solder the blue wire to the blue wire. We've got dogs barking, we've got it all soldered up. Time to put this cluster fuck of wiring back in here. And put the heat unit back in. Alright guys, we got the wires on under the dash and back to here. Don't mind my dirty floorboards. And we're going to start wiring this up here. Now this is the pause that comes straight off the battery. As you can see, you've got ground, 12 volt, and REM. This comes straight off the battery. It goes into 12. So we want to put that on there. Tighten that down just a little bit now. You don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want it loose to where it fall out neither. So, okay, that's good. Now, we've got the black wire, which is ground. Okay, now that is going to come to right there. That home back on that so it don't ground on nothing. Stick it back up in there. Make sure don't touch them together because this is lava and this is grounded. I went ahead and hooked it up by something stupid because I am not safe. Safer than I am. I ain't saying much. <laughs> All right. Now we got this battery. That this wire. It comes off of the blue. The blue that's on the back of the radio no one ever uses, that's what this is for. You just take stick it right back in there. They ain't nothing to wire these up. It ain't as hard as what people think. Look, blue wire, positive, ground. Good ground, straight off the battery, and uh, just a blue wire off the back of the radio. Okay, now the last thing we got to do... And I had, I had these where I can remember. Okay, black is white. And blue is red. Because, because I, I mix it up. But you want to pay attention to what, which one you hooked it into. So I had the blue hooked to the red and the black hooked to the white. Let's hook that in. Now we got a bunch of other settings. We've got volume and we've got this. I've got it set. About a quarter way and about half the volume. I can adjust this later if I choose to. But as of right now, I'm going to want this pretty low 
just starting out because I don't know what kind of power this is pushing in power to the head unit. Some of these come preset. Uh, you're going to want, but you're going to want to have this turn low so you don't blow your amp. I can also have it to full or base. Uh, I'm going to keep it on full. And we've got these wires down here, but we're not going to use them because I ain't got that kind of fancy setup. Okay, now all we're going to do is set this big log in the back of my truck. Make sure you've got wires hanging out. you got to drag in. No, we're going to tuck him under the seat because I haven't got the right connectors since this kit's been used. Fold it up and zip tight. That's actually what I'm going to do, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yee yee way. Legit no joke is what I'm going to do. For now because i haven't got the right connectors and stuff this kit comes with the right connectors but this kit is used but i did actually get everything with the kit which is nice cut that off Never try to cut welding wire with your wire strippers either. It's just, just not a smart idea. All right. Now, I'm, I'm going to want to make sure that every one of my wires are out of the way. So, can't get caught on nothing. Can't get nicked on nothing. No moving parts can hit them. So, I've got them just like that right there. Get you close up. These wires are coming back under the seat, and the seat is not going to be going forward or backward. It's not going to get caught on this because it's under the seat. So, that right there is fine. Now, now, in theory, when I turn the key on, I should hear this sub kick on. Oh, it kicked on. All right. Now, all I gotta do is turn the radio on and see if it kicks on. So, do that right now. I don't even think I'll get any radio stations. Where's radio? I was just on radio, wasn't I? Cool! <laughs> Vibrate my back already, and it's just static. But uh, yeah, that's it for the ins installation. Now all we gotta do is play a little bit of tunes. All right, guys, it's time for a sound test. Got everything put back together. Got the speaker put back in. Got the two side speakers put back in. They're small speakers. They're getting replaced later. But we got the sub in the back, this speaker, and the two door speakers. So everything's set back up. We're just gonna play a few seconds off each clip so you know youtube copyright <laughs> Exactly what I was looking for. Clean sound. Sounds good. Thumps your freaking back. Dude. That's not even, I ain't even, I was just seeing of what it can do. No, I what got, it, I got it, the bass turned really far down. We don't want to blow it out. Don't want to blow it out just yet. And it's not even strapped down. That's just it flopping around. If you heard that vibration, that's that's from it flopping around back there. But honestly, it's 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 way better than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's meant to. And I still ain't got the speaker where I want it to sit. I want it to sit this way so it can actually get some air. But dude, this is freaking mint. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. And this dual head unit just pushes pushes just enough the way I want it. 
but guys it just proves you can have a good setup on the cheap like i just I, that's the reason i wanted to show you all the build and stuff because literally this is cheap i literally have got everything this whole sound system for free i got this off austin this came with trevor the door speakers are pioneers they come with the truck it already blowed this one off. Hello. And I traded a, a cylinder head for the subwoofer. But really, if you're looking about money-wise, I'm going to have about $75 in the new speakers, if that. I need to fix that. I ain't about that right now. Might have $75 in the new speakers. You can get them for about $20. So, $20 for the speakers. This head unit. You can get a head unit, a cheap head unit for $25. If you want something about like this, this was about $75, $80. I got this for free, but you know, you know what I'm saying. The sub behind the seat with the wiring kit and everything all together is about 80 bucks. Guys, you can have a nice setup for really cheap. And that's that's what I was here to prove. I mean, you know, this is this is not a bad setup. Can't beat free, dude. Mm -hmm. But honestly, for about $160, you can have a setup just like this. Like, you don't have to spend really crazy money to have good sound. So, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something from it. Hope this helped you out some way. Or, I hope it made you laugh. Or, t it maybe even taught you something. But guys, thank you all for watching. And, yeah, yeah.